Hey guys, it's Mary. I'm sorry the light isn't better. It's just the way the light is showing on my video. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna make a dish and I'm gonna share it with you. And I'm gonna share it with you for one reason, is I live in a community of seniors, 55 plus. And what I'm learning is like me, a lot of seniors want quick meals, especially in the summer when it's hot. And sometimes they're by themselves, sometimes it's two of them. And it's just a matter of, uh, you know, having some quick meals. And that's what they look for. So what I'm making today is something I do once in a while. <clears throat> Might do more of it. And um, is I'm making a batch of Penny Putinesca. I don't know if you've ever tried it. It's a delicious Italian dish. I've made it before. As you can three, see, I've got three cans of, of uh, whole tomatoes sitting here, a can of tomato paste. I've got some olives. I'm gonna use some anchovies. I'm gonna use some Parmesan cheese. I can't get the skin off this. I have this little roller that I use to take the, the peelings off the garlic, this little guy. You ever use one of these? And um, so I have cut the ends off the garlic. I want lots of garlic and lots, and I want it fairly spicy, but not too hot that somebody couldn't eat it, do you know what I mean? So I'm just taking the ends off. So these will roll around here and peel really easily. Sometimes they just peel by themselves, right? So I've got, I don't know, I'll show you how much garlic I have when I'm done here. See those two frying pans behind me? They're big, they're big frying pans. I'm gonna fill those full of lots of sauce and lots of penny. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a few of these garlics that aren't peeled, put them all in this little tube, shove them all in here. These are all peeled. That one's peeled, that one's peeled, that one's peeled. And I'm just gonna roll them on this thing. And it helps take the, they just roll together and take the, the shells off. See that, they just fall off in there. Except this one wants to be more stubborn for some reason. There we go. Okay, so this is all the garlic I'm gonna use. Right, lots of garlic. Italian food, lots of garlic. It makes it. Okay, so I'm gonna put all my garlic here and I'm gonna chop it. I have this handy dandy little chopper. Everything convenient, right? It's starting to fall apart, this thing. Okay, so I just take some of this garlic, put it under my chopper. Just chop it up really good. Okay, take the rest of it. Cut this little end off it. Take the rest of it. Feelings they didn't come off or fall off. Pull them out. Okay. And all the garlic I can get out of here. Okay. Just bang out the rest. Okay, that's my garlic. You can see how much I have. I don't know, is that about maybe a quarter cup, third a cup? Lots of garlic. Okay, so I need a big thing of water. So I'm gonna take a big pot like this. I'm gonna put half, fill it half full of water. And I'm gonna put it on the stove. 
and get it morning. Then, I've got my anchovies, capers. I always have capers in the house because sometimes I use capers in my Caesar salad. I make a really nice Caesar salad. Sometimes I use capers. I'm gonna reach over to my recipe here. All right, I had the pot to go look for some pots. But anyway, now I'm gonna put my penny. I have two bags, two of these, and a little bit left over from the last time. And I'm gonna put them in my big pot of boiling water. And then I'm going to boil that first because, only because, I need my two elements. Um, maybe I can do it in one frying pan and switch it to the other. So yeah, I need, so I can cook while I'm, while the penny's cooking. It only takes not too long. And I'm gonna make a whole bunch of it. And I'm gonna put it in containers like these. You buy them from the grocery store. And I put them in containers like this with the seal so people can just put them in the oven. If they want to put it in the microwave, then of course they have to take it out of here and put it in a plate um, to microwave it, of course. Can't put the metal in, it, in the microwave. <clears throat> so I'm just getting my pasta ready. This is an awesome candy. Candy, delicious dinner, guys. So what I've got ready is whole bunch of olives. You're supposed to use Kalamata olives. I don't have them, so I've got pitted stuffed olives. I've got three cans of tomato, whole tomatoes. I've got a can of tomato paste. I've got my capers. Uh, it's a whole little bottle of capers. I've got my anchovies. And believe me, all these things are important. And I've got my garlic. I'm gonna add some red peppers. And just to let you know everything that's in this. So we have the penny, and I'm going to put the recipe at the end for you. Two, two uh, tablespoons of olive oil, of course. A whole bunch of garlic, two tablespoons of tomato paste, uh, the canned tomatoes, parsley I don't have. That's just for decoration, mostly on top. And then um, Kalamata olives, or these olives I'm using. Capers, a pinch of crust. Pa uh, red paper flakes to give it some zest, some spice, and some anchovies and Parmesan cheese. Lots of Parmesan cheese to put on top. After everything's done, I sprinkle the cheese on it. Love Parmesan cheese, don't you? Okay. My pasta is boiling. So what I'm going to do, one of my frying pans, Turn it on, about medium. I need my olive oil. All of this and more, it's Persian lime infused olive oil. Oh, it smells so nice. Then my directions. So in a large skillet over low heat, heat the oil, add garlic and cook, stirring until fragrant. One minute, add the tomato paste and stir until coated, then add the tomatoes and shimmer until saucy, 10 to 12 minutes. So I don't add the olives, the capers, and the red pepper flakes and the anchovies till after. So I'm gonna put in the garlic, add tomato paste, and stir. So I'm gonna add the garlic as soon as this oil heats up a little bit. I forgot one thing, guys. I have to put Parmesan cheese on top. I, I haven't got the shape, the um, grated, so I'm just going to put some of this um, like this. I prefer the grated, but I'm just going to put some of this on. Hopefully, I have enough to do all these. Otherwise, I could always put it on after it's made or add more to it when it's heated up, right? You just heat it in the oven, probably half an hour, maybe if it's frozen, 350, that should do it. You might want it's more cheese on those. That should be enough 
for one person. I drain my pasta, got a whole load of it, see? And I'm just going to leave it sitting in the sink. And then once my sauce is done, I'll take half of it and put it in the other big pan because it's too much pasta for one pan. So we'll give that just a few minutes to do its thing. <clears throat> This is one frying pan. I got two of them full. Okay. Seal them up, date them right on the top of the felt pen. Put them in the freezer. You're good to go.